um, I hope that the guests that we do have on this podcast experience the same thing that we've experienced yeah. because that'll be the goal. So one of your old friends from Hollywood mentioned to you, I would never do what you guys are doing right now. Being vulnerable like this on a podcast, how about your trauma? It's like, yeah, me either. Yeah. Never thought so either. Never but, thought so. but I can tell you right now, the only reason why I'm healing that trauma is because we're doing those podcasts. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot. Don't you think there's other, there's, you're, you're doing so much in your 100%, life. hundred percent. There's other ways. And you're like sharing all of that publicly here so much 100, of the time, 100%. Right? There's a lot of other things behind the scenes. Um, but I'm just saying there's something special about being honest with the world and the internet is the world. Anyone could go to our YouTube and watch us talk about personal trauma and, and religion and see it and being that vulnerable and defining it as that is me. That is who I am. I'm not lying to myself anymore. It's yeah. where I came from. There's something so real and true in that that I never knew would exist if we didn't do this. Yeah. And so I, some of the other people I've come in contact with that are like pretty young kids just now coming out of the church like three, four years ago and starting to really realize how traumatized they are from it and they want to be on the podcast. I'm just it, it's so excited to, yeah. to expand this community to people that really do want to talk about it. Because again, it's not about being combative. It's about communicating. It's about having conversation. And that's it. 